Now, this question kind of caught me off guard, to be honest with you. Um, I'm an electrical contractor. I'm an electrician. I've been doing this my whole life, and I realized after talking with Mike, hey, you got so excited talking about power over Ethernet, it kind of sounded like the end of the electrical line voltage era. That couldn't be further from the truth. So one of the comments that came in is, hey, do I have at least 50 years to run a line voltage company before PoE takes over the industry, or should I quit now? So I just want to clarify something that I didn't probably do a really good job of last week, and that is, number one, PoE will never replace line voltage. Um, and we'll get to a few questions later that will maybe clarify a little bit about that. My excitement is more about adopting what is new in our industry. And much like everybody was worried uh, many years ago about what the what was going to put what out of job or who, and, and, and specifically I'm thinking about automation. You know, as factories have become automated, people have actually not lost jobs. In fact, it's created more jobs. There's tens of thousands of professionals that do nothing but maintain the equipment that produces the volume of goods that we consume. We're an ever-expanding culture. We are a culture of consumers. And PoE, like many other technologies, is going to be what changes not fundamentally how things occur, but in fact, how we utilize our day-to-day -day life and our day-to-day -day equipment. And so my excitement about this, I'm one of these kind of people that I'm always wanting to research and I want to look for the next best thing. And I try to stay two steps ahead of the industry. You might be somebody that's like, hey, I'm busy, I'm tired. I have a business to run. I'm not interested in all this stuff right now. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. You don't have to chase PoE. When the technology becomes ready in the market, and we've seen this with many things. Uh, we could look at wiring methods, MC cable for instance, right? MC cable wasn't, it came to the market, it was new, nobody used it, now it's a big deal. We've seen this with uh, computers, we've seen this with smartphones. What's gonna happen is these types of things just kind of ramp up and at some point in time, it's going to basically come knock on your door. You're not going to have to go hunt it down. What I want to do and, and what my hope is, is that you'll take the information that I'm presenting and you'll use that just maybe even just in the back of your head as a tickler so that when somebody knocks on the door, you're like, you know what? I actually watched a presentation on that. Not only do I know what it is, but I know a little bit about it. And I am or I'm not interested. And, and most importantly, you're not caught off guard like, oh, POE? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We, we really want to make sure that we're just at least aware of what's going on. So do you have at least five years, 50 years to run a line voltage company before PoE takes over the industry? Um, I have no idea. I mean, for all I know, we're going to have nuclear receptacles. We always laugh uh, when Eric's on the videos with us and we talk about wireless receptacles. Uh, you don't need any wiring. Um, but in all seriousness, uh, of course you have 50 years. Uh, there's nothing on the technology front that I'm aware of that's going to be replacing line voltage anytime soon.